Hi guys and welcome to Angling For You and today you join me for a little bit of a different one and it's a new seat box day for myself. Now as you all know I have the Z36 map blue and it is an absolute beautiful box, probably still the best box in my opinion on the market today, for, especially for what I need. Now that begs the question why would i change it now all you guys know i change my gear semi-regularly it's not been as regular lately with all covid and difficult to get all the things but it's something i've been planning for a while um, and i do get many comments um thanking me for for reviewing all different sort of price levels of all different gear but sometimes i like to go and have a long term or in my world that's not so long uh, term of a product to test it out on the day to day as I as I test intermediate and I test budget as well as higher I don't always fish with those um, I tend to go for the more higher type of gear um, and mid-range I would say um, and that's what leads me into this video and it into my new box uh, so let's flip the camera around and let's get into it Right, so this is my new box and now from the title, it was a bit of a mystery um, and obviously now everybody with eagle eyes can see um, and I didn't do it as an inception box review because I have already got one out there. So I wanted to go through everything about the box but also why have I chose this. Now I am looking and potentially I might get the absolute, the new absolute coming out in a few months um, but at least maybe for this season and into next year I might I will be keeping this box and and potentially into the new year maybe into the to the spring of new year I will look and maybe go into an absolute and trying that one out so why have I gone for a an inception um, it's a different platform it's a different setup and I always harp on that I would always go for a 36 mil leg and I I, on a general, I can't even remember. Must have been back to my old Daiwa tournament days where I actually was a 30, a 30 mil leg. Everything has been 36 since then. So that is a, a little bit of a difference. Um, I've had to wangle out um, any spare uh, little adapters I could find to uh, get all my attachments attached to it um, bar the one that is at the bottom, uh, which I need another for. But the reason I went for it is I look at what's out on the market, I look at what the crisis is now um, with energy bills and pricings of, of items and even this uh, around £400 is still a lot of money for a lot of people to buy a box but it's an intermediate range um, that can be a box you can use for match fishing for um, the higher level of fishing that we need to do. Um, it, it, in, in essence a platform needs to be three things for me it needs to be stable it needs to have the storage and it needs to be comfortable and they're the three key areas that I, I look for at a box anything over that is down to personal choice it's down to what it looks like does it match my gear um, and is it the right brand that I like to fish with they're the three non-important things uh, that go to it now you may have known I've, I've obviously had the map things for around six months seven months um, and I've always had an affiliation with Preston. I've always loved Preston gear um, and flitted in, in and out of it. Um, as you saw, coming back to <clears throat> the Preston attachments and the Preston side trays. So I thought Inception is something I've seen for a long time. I've tested it. I've toyed with the fact um, of owning one. And here we are. I've gone for the graphite. I really like the graphite color. Uh, I've had the white before with the absolute. So I thought, <clears throat> graphite would be a different thing for me to look at so we'll go around the the quirks the features and things that it has um, the first one I'm going to start with uh, which is essential for my left-handed fishing is that you can remove the top cassette um, with this draws in and spin that round and what I mean by that is it's super easy to just push the top ones 
and take off this so it's independent from the drawer unit and that's really important for me this is how new it is it's still got the inception <laughs> booklet in there and I still in fact I didn't even know that were a rig tray box I put my rigs uh, underneath and as you all know I, I tend to put them on my top kits anyway if I'm fishing a match and my spares which I normally tie up fresh on the day I would do the day before or on the actual day so now that's how this is how easy it is so if I you can see the frame, beautiful, super strong frame. Now I have mine this way around, but if I was right-handed, as, as, as the box comes, which most people are right-handed, it's that easy to just turn the box around and then the drawers obviously can come out to the right-hand side. For me, it's a no-go. I need to be left-handed um, for the pole. So I have to have everything that way around. Once we open the uh, thing is properly, we can get that on. Um, I, I have to have everything that way around to allow me to, to fish with it. And it's easy to do that. And like I say, because this comes off independently, I can then put that back on. And it doesn't matter which way the cassettes ran below, because I can just put the seat on. And also, if you're taller than me, you can add to that. Now, this is about as high as I would go because of my little short legs. Um, I was a little concerned that the legs wouldn't be long enough and I would have to get longer legs just to put my side trays on, but I did put them on yesterday and the reach is fine. I'm about on the limit where it's comfortable. The seat itself, although not as beautiful as the uh, 36 map or the absolute it is still got that soft seat it's really important to me as a seat um the matrix although lovely boxes really did hurt my back because the firmness of that seat that cushion um was really painful uh, after a while yes you could go to a custom seat of course um, and that would solve that problem uh, if that's the way you wanted to go but i didn't want to put another 80 quid 90 quid on top of what i'd already spent so the seat and the comfort for me is is absolute number one um very very closely put together by the storage now we'll go into that so storage wise like i said th this one i've just actually noticed myself i didn't actually go through this um because the the only thing that i look for key storage wise is a rig box below which i've got which we've got an additional one here um so i might be moving that up to the top actually um is the two side drawers and they are absolutely essential for me and you may have seen some of the reviews i've done of the dial boxes and, and with the dial ones the trays are a little thin and there's a lot of them but they're a little thin and, and I'm not, this is my bugbear it's got to be a, a decent draw so we'll go into the drawers first now the map that has um a deep draw a, a really deep draw um and a shallower draw now this gets the same stuff in because it has two draws that are in between the deep and the shallow of the map uh, which effectively gives you the exact same amount of storage space. So one thing I'll notice about this, which is when you start to go up to the more premium brands, um, is this is not a waterproof uh, drawer. So it doesn't have the seal that you would get on the high-end uh, boxes. Is this really a problem? Not really. Um, I, the only time I'd ever get water into the drawer is if I'd left a drawer open and it were raining, or you threw a bucket of water on it to clean it, but I always take the top section off to do that. So one of the first drawers, it comes with these inserts, these pulling and out, I'm not going to do it because they click into place but before you actually put the drawer together these are just laid flat so it's a choice if you want to have a big compartment or you want to segregate it into individuals and you can see it, it, i've got everything uh, to hand and because it's preston the certain things fit my preston absolutely perfect so that is one thing to think about they have magnets on the end they go in nice and easy and magnetize the second draw is the exact same shape but it's already been segmented now this is a fun fact and i'm just going to change my position because i'm ruined my legs and i can't kneel in that position for too long so it's quite interesting this um that when you buy the reflow powers because it's a preston those two stacks on on top of each other fit absolutely perfect you could in fact fit three of those on top of each other but if you have something like um, this is um, 
uh, another reflow but the circles if you had a, 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 a power micron for example you stack two up it's just too high to fit in so it can be a little bit fiddly when you're putting them in but with the reflow powers then you can just stick them on top and it becomes the right size to get them in so it sometimes it pairs to just have a look at those things um, if you're fishing with a certain brand and you want to make sure that they all fit it's, if you're in the shop just grab a few and have a little look and see what fits in there knowing knowing which brands you use the other thing is again because it's Preston my little um, hook link box fits absolutely perfect in there and then you can tell that's obviously been designed in mind um, and again that's something that you know I didn't have before but it fit in the map one uh, in a bigger sort of area but that fits absolutely bob on nice little space for my hooks I love these little thin ones the map had one as well with the inserts um, to fit your pole floats the good thing about this one is it already comes pre-populated I had to, to buy another 20-30 quid for the map to actually insert it Reeve is also the same um, the matrix ones uh, are really good they do they also co come with the individual things um, ready to go the individual um, segmented and that's <clears throat> an important thing to me I'm a, an all, I like organization when I'm fishing I know a lot of people aren't too fussed and they like to throw things in um, and the, the other ones of this where it's got a deeper draw like honestly a compartment which is the old school version of this box but old school version of of boxes in general where we used to put the real boxes and bait bake um, tubs and all sorts of stuff in a big compartment underneath and um, this doesn't have that it's more like I said more match orientated so you've got your stacker you've got a tray underneath um, and then you've got a tray that slides out underneath that now the good thing is it's on the two pins very similar to the absolute it can come out forward and backwards which is also very good and it can also take more shelving to stack it up if you want to put more into it so you can see I've got some rigs there loads of spare floats and some more feeders and bombs and that's really easy to put together just as you'd expect from Preston and sit, sit, sits onto the, the runner below just click your, the two little twist knobs at the side and you're back back in business there we go so really simple and easy to put together so that's another it's not in the top three important things but it is an important thing to me ease of use no one wants to be messing about when they get to the to the bank you just want to click 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 get out adjust things and crack on with your fishing so the first two we've covered super comfy seat and a lovely I'm going to this side this side two lovely decent sized drawers and then with the additional storage of the rig winder tray at the top and a wig a rig winder tray at the bottom to pull out is really good so like I said the third thing is stability so I'm going to extend the foot plate and we're going to have a look at the stable stability part of it so there's a little tiny twist knob like the absolute at every side and when you do slide the tray out the foot plate it has a little marker that tells you when you're getting exactly to to the point where you need to where you need to connect to there we go double click um, and the arrows are there and you're in place now the foot plate itself I really like it it's stealthed out in grey uh, with the black inlays it's got plenty of holes on there to allow me to drain my feet and the positioning is really comfy now it is a higher box than mine I'll put it up at the side of the map and it's around and it just short of an inch taller on the seat part the legs are slightly higher because it's a slightly higher frame this is something you have to think about will it fit for my fishing now I'm about the limit where I can have a flat foot and for my pole that's about right that's about right I can I can have my my sort of things to hand and, I'll, and my tray sits about that height so sits across here and my tubs are around this height which is a, just a good height for me to pick without reaching down not reaching down uh, to the to lower it's about right if I'm fishing 
and I find out that it needs longer legs, um, per, you know, perhaps on the side where my tray is then, I'll, I'll buy the longer legs. It's not, it's not the end of the world. Um, but for now, when I set it up with my trays, I felt comfortable with it. Now, the trays obviously is a little bit different because I've got to keep these little uh, um, 30 mil expander uh, inserts on there because obviously the tray doesn't hold it, it sort of undoes itself on a on a, um, a Ventilite so the insert needs to stay on the leg otherwise we're going to end up losing it and I won't be able to connect it on. The other one at the back is a Ventilite Slim so the actual mounting stay on the box. Happy days. Same with, with uh, my Matrix ones, my click that's on there with an insert. I do need one more insert for my feeder one which is at the bottom but my, my uh, roost for my uh, keep nets is all there good to go so the box itself does it feel comfy now this seat again it is a soft it's it is a gel seat it's not as um in fact it's very similar to the absolute if i'm honest it's not i don't think as good as the absolute um but it, it's damn near close um it does no nipping so it doesn't feel like it's going to hit the frame that was a bugbear of some of the reeve uh, boxes that i've sat on and the guru boxes i feel like the seat is very soft but it also touches the wood of underneath um, and that's a no-go for me um, and the, like I said the matrix for me is too hard um, and again this is completely up to you um, but normally I would not prefer a smaller than 36 mil leg and this is what we're talking about now is stability now I think that this is probably one of the most stable 30 mil boxes that I've sat on um, and that's one reason that did sway me in the end to go for it. I was looking for that intermediate box that I could do some filming with you know to relate to a lot of people's budget in this crisis time but I didn't want to go for a box that was going to be uncomfortable or not stable and this box does feel very stable and i think that's two reasons to me one it's got a wide platform and i do like a wide platform box not always great to put in the car not always great to um move around although this is feel lighter than the map if i'm honest um even with all the gearing but it is a wide platform certainly wider than the map um i used to sit around this with the map and I sometimes used to rest my leg against the the, uh, the leg before. Um, with this, there's a lot more space. And if you're a bigger guy or lady, um, and you want or you fish with open legged, um, then you have a lot more space with the sides and the, and the platform itself. For me, that is a big advantage. Um, not that I'm super wide, I may be a bit fatter than I should be, but once those earnings are sorted, boom, we'll be uh, back to normal weight. But until then, the plaque like I said, the platform is extended, and you can also see on the, the actual frame at the front, the foot plate frame, that it is a smaller, you've got your small normal foot plate, but then it's extended with width and that is great, especially going into winter with bigger boots, bigger wellies, things like that. And like I say, if you're a bigger person, you've got more space and space is key. On the flip side, you are going to be tight on a platform. If, if you've got a small platform, you're going to fill it. But nine times out of 10 nowadays, most side plays, trays are self-supporting and you, or you would get a self-supporting arm. So you should be all right um, with that. Now, the other thing is it comes with a nice uh, strap. I'm going to grab it just because I've put it off camera a second, but it does come with a nice strap, a uh, chunky one. And it's double carabinered either side, so there's not this rocking of your box forward and backwards. It sits to, from two pivot points on either side, which means when you pick it up, it picks up level rather than rocking forward or backwards. Um, when you're carrying it on your shoulder, if you are doing so, that is absolutely essential to your back's conditioning <laughs> and for ease of taking it down to the bank or for wherever you're going to. The other good thing is the platform, the front platform is completely detachable and um, it's not slid into the it's not attached to the main frame it's completely independent so it can slide out so if you're on a canal venue or you've got longer legs and you don't want to have the foot plate on you can completely take that out and just have your feet on the floor or 
keep it in completely up to you but also for washing it that's a really good thing you can take it out wash it do whatever you need to do um, and it's really simple and easy to do so in fact the whole box is simply and easy to do so like I showed you before you can take off the top part of it and completely see the frame with no runners and completely clean underneath it if you do so wish to um, and then it goes on to the three non-essential points um, does it look good yeah I think it really does um, I'll go around with the camera in and do a close-up as I always do um, but the graphite color I think is a hard wearing color I like the the, the blue um, stickers and things like that on it um, I think it's subtle but but nice um, and I think it does look the absolute part um, within you know what I want to do um, and I suppose that that, that, that pulls you on to um, does it match your gear well in this case probably still does yeah because I've got blue and black and greys and that still matches my gear is it essential absolutely not but it does fit in with the other colors of the things I've got like I say not an essential point but it does and then it goes down to brand doesn't it does it match everything that I've got well yeah and no um, I have a plethora of different stuff matrix attachments I've got Preston attachments although I've changed the actual rod rest from from a, a matrix to a Preston but still have the attachment as a, a matrix it, it still fits in with what I want I've I think brands in, in in general it's like Nike and Adidas people they're not, not necessarily the best trainers out there there might be better trainers out there but it's all about that brand and a lot of people do go to the brands that they like so that's very subjective um, I try to go like you know over quite a, a few different brands to, to sort of see what I like um, in this case yes it matches what I'd like from a box so those are the six three do's three's th three's important sorry three not so important and for me it ticks all of that and like I say the main three uh, are obviously the uh, the most important with a, a, a slight does it look good I'll be honest um, does nip in there when you're thinking about it um, and, and that's really important to me in, in the decision why we got the box now the only downside um, is the tops do not unscrew and um, to put a screw top in that's again when you're stepping up to the next price range is that essential no no it's not um, <clears throat> I'll be honest the only the only way I do is is to make it look tarty with the uh, pole nose bungs tops to screw in there or push in there and um, to give it a little offset and I would do that with blue if they came off they might do with a bit of ragging but I don't really need to do that um, and I certainly don't use the screw tops some people do I, I've never ever ever used them um, <clears throat> that's just my personal uh, way I fish now what I've tried to do is rain back a lot of stuff I've had loads of attachments and have loads of additional things and I don't really need them and I'll say to you guys now if you don't need those kind of stuff sometimes it's just you might as well not have them um, give them away to, to juniors or make some money off them you know sell, sell them on if they're in good condition um, because at the moment it's really difficult to get hold of certain things so if you're not using it just you know sell it on someone else will definitely take that up for you and I only really keep minimal things on there I've got my uh, two at the bottom for my keep net bar this one here is for my feeder arm my matrix feeder arm the other matrix one is for my little l-shaped bracket that comes up to hold the butt of my rod or to hold my keep net arm um sorry not my keep net arm my landing net handle if it runs it on the side i've got the two little inserts here which will fit the one tray I've got two on the back that fit the other tray i've got one here that fits my little preston um pole sock slash little v number three section holder and that is it apart from <clears throat> my top kit roost which is completely independent i don't have anything else i've literally got no other attachment um in my bag uh bar my it's a keep net sorry i keep saying keep net i don't know why i keep saying that it's a pole holder while you ball it it's like a ball in an arm um and to be honest i i do use that when I'm using my rod sometimes so I have obviously my pole sock here um, and sometimes if I'm, I'm having a feeder session rather than a pole or mix session I'll tend to have the obviously the little L bracket here for the base of the rod but then there's nothing to all my keep net uh, keep net again landing net 
um, and what I'll do is I'll use that ball and arm to hold that if I'm not using my pole so other than that that's it and I think for me it's just about refining your setup and how you like to fish uh, and I've tried to do that a lot um, over the sort of last few years same with with the bags and the things that I carry I've just sold my mat multi box uh, where it's got loads of different uh, bags and boxes in there I just <laughs> I just don't use them um, but I have got one come from midi which is almost identical but it's got a lot more different uh, usable things in there um, pellet wetters and all sorts of stuff which we will be showing soon um, and that will be given away as well so do keep your eyes out for that um, but I'm really happy with it uh, we'll do a little close-up and whizzle round and you get to see sort of the different close-up colors and angles and all sorts of the nice good looking stuff and then we'll do a little round off right guys we're going to start from the front now like i said it's a good looking box it's pretty stealthy at the front um it's got the nice black front of the of the seat part of the box and, and the lovely gel seat um and it's quite just was stealthed out to be fair which is not normally in my fashion i'm normally glary and gary you can see the little stickers of the inception station on the bottom the nice little preston uh, emblem there in the triangle in the middle um, and the legs even though 30 mil are really strong um, they've got the Preston soft touch screws so they are really easy to turn even with cold hands and the additional bottom one which extends another 50 centimeters um, and then onto the side like I said you've got the two pinwheels one to release the tray and one on the left to release the foot plate you can see them the carabiner um, holding uh, hooks ready for you to snap that um, nice shoulder strap on uh, and you can see the two additional drawers now we'll pull out the drawers see them in a little bit closer up decent space in there with the, with the dividers they can be pulled out you can see the little thumb prints that are on the tops where you can pull those out um, really decent and they're both the same size you could have them in any configuration um, with the magna locks on the bot on the back of them but you can see how things fit in nice and easy and it's magnetically locked into into there so yeah really impressed with with those for the price range now if you go around the back you can see again stealthed out it's got a little spirit level on there and um, just allows you to get everything spot on and nice and easy a little uh, graphite just for me just just looks really nice um, and just nice um, uh, effect with the blue stickers uh, which are on the sides here and then a little top view you can see this the lovely gel seat and the, the foot plate and this is what I mean by the extended part of the foot, foot plate you've got to put foot, foot plate but you've got wider leg spreading which allows you more space so let's get back on and finish it off what's what's the the negative parts um, to this box for me now there's only a few that I can see right now um, and obviously the longevity of fishing with it we'll find out if there's any others so n the number one is the drawers although great are not waterproof sealed like I said it's not essential because the, the chances of getting water in there is quite slim um, but they do have a little side to side movement in them they're not as snug and as perfectionately trim as you would have in a more upmarket box and the divider between them is just a thin flexible plastic between both but the times you're going to be pulling the full drawer out it's not really a negative they still slide out nice and easy and they're still push in nice and easy and you can just see that the plastic quality is not as good as something that would be a higher spec and that is down to the to the you know the price range of, of what you you're paying into um, and with that obviously you just need to be making sure that you look after it you're not ragging them about twisting them throwing them about and all sorts of silly things like that um, and the only other negative that i've found already is you and this might be just me getting used to it is it is really sensitive to slide the foot plate in and out it actually slid out fantastic on that first um bit of video we've just shot but it wasn't so easy when the first time I tried it um, even with the liners I just had to nudge it a little bit until it I found the click hole um, that is just maybe me getting used to it with this one there's no 
uh, back up with a mat for example it, it doesn't pull out unless there's a releaser same on the matrix so it hasn't got it'll just pull out completely rather than hitting a resistance uh, before it clicks so you just have to get a little used to that um, before doing it um, but like I say nothing crazy it does although have another little notch on there so you can have the foot plate shorter if you just wanted your heels on it and you've got a short platform in front of you so that is backed up with a positive um, when you're looking at it so that's it's not an all all a negative uh, scenario and for me originally I thought the 30 mil would be a negative but like I say to you it is uh, a stable platform and that is an essential part um, I'd say the other negative and final negative for me um, is the height and that is not detriment to the to Preston that's detriment to my height in general it is on my limit this is as high as I could go on a set seat frame box um, unless you've got a h-frame for cassettes otherwise I would be too high and I want ever to reach anything and we'll be yet to see whether that needs to be extended on those legs but again that's down to me and my height not Preston um, but I suppose it would work in the other way if you were taller you'd be higher up so you'd be still far from the leg so you don't I'm shorter and I'm lower to the leg but higher from your knees so I think there's a little bit of there so whether we need extendable legs I don't know I am almost certain we won't um, and the, the, for the amount of shallow fishing we do in the summer you, I could stand it on top of my box and able to uh, on top of my side box and it would be fine so I'm not worried about that um, and certainly won't be spending money on extendable legs if that is not necessary so overall that is why we've got a new box I like to turn things over for the channel you know that um, and especially when you don't lose money um, I've literally gone I've, I've sold my box uh, my uh, 36 to uh, Glenn, who you may see on some videos who comes with us my lifelong friend as uh, dad who obviously has become great part of my childhood but also now part of my adulthood um, and many many fishing journeys and ventures that we've had already and hopefully lots more to come he has got that box and that will be his final box I know that sounds a bit morbid but he's not he's got many years but he's um, he's obviously got that now um, is retired so he will look after the Z36 and it will be still great to see that on the bank with Glyn um, and like I said what Glyn paid for that I paid for this um, and you know it's, it's a lovely box and anybody that's got an inception I'm sure will say the same um, and like any product that's out there there will be pros and cons that you find across the way and we will share them with you um, but at the moment I'm excited to get it onto the bank um, with work that may be a few weeks uh, this will be a sunday that's dropping today so if you are seeing it um it will have been it will be a few weeks until i can do i'm out next week filming for wakefield angling club for the video that they won to film their own video i've done the coaching part i'm now going to film the second part which is a memorial match next week so i'm really looking forward to doing that um so it will be a couple of weeks although i've got some videos stored back uh, before i get back on the bank and test this out and also i have the new um is it dx suit i don't know whatever it is i've got the new bib and brace um because that is mega as well so that will be on the channel for you to see as soon as well if you want to see any more reviews or anything else that we do please go onto the youtube on the playlist and have a look we've got all the different reviews we've got channel we've got uh, videos where it's challenge challenges we've got videos on features on different venues absolutely loads so get yourself digging into those if you want to come into the facebook group angling for you we've got close to 10,000 fantastic members on there that share their stories in fishing and what they're doing their their films their videos their live streams and they answer any question that you put on there there's always loads and loads of answers and it is a safe place with no banter so you can ask a question that you don't know the answer and people will help you without any uh, belittling or anything like that and if you want to come into instagram and see what we're doing on instagram and see just photos and follow what we do tag us in yours then absolutely angling underscore for you on instagram and if you could like share and subscribe and be the angling for you family member that'd be superb keep your eyes out because we've got fishing tackle and bait 23rd on friday of september um from five till late we've got hog roast we've got 
to um, Corda Carp Anglers and ourselves there at Fishing Teclan Bay. They're doing great discounts for members, 20% um, off clothing and luggage and rods and reels and 10% off the other items, um, you know, your poles and all that kind of stuff. And then on top of that, they're doing bait bundles and prize givings and all sorts of things that you can get involved in. It's a superb afternoon. It's going to be after work, Friday the 23rd. Definitely get yourself down there. And if you want any more information on that, have a look at the Instagram posts and the Facebook posts as well. And until the next one, guys, thank you very much for watching. Tight lines.